Hello, my name is uh, Carlos Padron, and today I'll be discussing the Tony Devils um, straw skin, or in other words, uh, the temptation to use uh, capillary action for the absorption of water. Okay, the Tony Devil, um, otherwise known as the Molec Hortus, which is a, which is the scientific name, or just Molec for short, is an Australian lizard that usually lives on arid scrubland and um, deserts that cover most of central Australia. Habitat in Tony Devil coincides with mostly regions of sandy loam soils. Tony Devil's uh, domain is Eukarya, which um, includes organisms that have cells that include a nucleus as well as membrane brown organelles. The the Tony Devil also belongs to the kingdom Animalia, which just which are just uh, multicellular eukaryotic organisms. Right here in the picture right here we see a clear picture of um, Australia and the most central part of the um, Australia where most of the thorn devils uh, reside. Right here to the right we see a picture of the actual thorn level which is you can see all the thorns and where it gets its name. Ancestry. A common ancestor of the thorn devil is the Prisca Gamane. My bad. It is a sad family of the Amigadei family, which the Amigadei family makes up most of the lizards in Australia, including Thorn Devil. The family of the Thorn Devil is the Agamidae. Uh, the Prisgamidae subfamily actually comes from the late Cretaceous in the Gobi Desert. Um, an experiment done by Conrad J.L. Uh, they made a diagnosis of 81 different, and one or more species. And they look at different schools and the alignments of the mandibles to um, simply find out that most of the anime species could have came from the old world or simply um, the time before where Europe and Asia used to be one land landmass called Eurasia. Uh, the Biscamine, Biscamine, uh more in depth is actually. Um, found in like three, four different species: the Mimosaurus crosses, the Brisgama cobiensis, the Persomius metidae, and the Plosturodontigama and a toad. Also, they can actually make up this family of the uh, Agamidae. Uh, however, it is can be debated by the many different people that the Prisgamine is the only, this is the one true ancestor that actually goes into the Amigadae family, which uh, in turn goes into the Thorny Desert, Thorny Devil. However, it can be also debated that um, any of these, these four species actually is the most recent ancestor for the Agamidae lizard family. Now, right, we have a cladogram. Um, it's actually like it's kind of like the um, very uh, in depth, in which it actually goes back to one of the very first, um, very very first uh, like um, uh, species of lizards. The one or more, and it could, this this could be debated that this is one of like, the, like the, the first one, like the way back, in time. However, I don't really like to say that this is the actual motion, um, uh, most recent uh, uh, ancestor because we have these other uh ancestors over here, ancestors over here, and this one actually branches off to different others, ancestors that aren't like the Agamidae. Uh, you can see some of these um. Uh, some of the, the highlighted ones are the ones that we discussed over here from the Prisgamine uh, ancestry uh, subfamily. The habitation. The ability to transport water through in this integument system has been achieved by the thorn devil by the process of capillary action. Uh, according to the article Absorption and Movement of, of Water to Skin in Australian Devil, by using some microcomputed tomography, they were actually able to find that the skin is actually structured by scales that overlap and enables them to collect water, like straws possibly transported into the corners of the mouth. And that's actually uh, very uh, curious because when the thorn devil opens its mouth, it uses its muscles to pull the water to its mouth after being absorbed by the capillary um, parts of this body. Uh, when it goes more in depth, uh, this article, it says that um, there are actually two channels, two types of channels that reside in the thorny devil's uh, scales. 
or one being the large channels that have the ability to store water, large amounts of water at a quicker rate, and they're able to store it in large volumes in the channels. There's also the smaller tub channels that are used to uh, extend the capillary water transport, and this can actually be seen as a further uh, adaptation because an adaptation is just um, a simplification that's remarkable of this species is that it can absorb water from the ground without actually having to drink it and absorb water with its uh, skin to be able to transport it to its mouth. And having these channels and these smaller, these channels, this large and large, large and small channels is very um, fascinating because it shows that even in their skin, it's more adapted to uh, hold more water and, and longer for periods, you know, for storage. Um, for any uh, evidence of this, um, I found this article called the phylogeny in Australian, oh my bad, in Australian, um, administrative research based on nuclear mitochondrial genes, application of morphology, evolution, in biogeography. In this, um, specific article, it is shown that the mitochondrial DNA phylogeny was actually congruent for the recent views, and the taxonomy before was based upon the phenotypic comparison and the actual phenotypic uh, or phylogenetic uh, relationship. To solve this like comparability, they used the nuclear regions, um, two nuclear regions, the BDNF, the brain-derived neurotrophic factor, and the CMOs. These are both compatible with the uh, mitochondrial DNA. And mitochondrial DNA was actually used uh, because it was able to be passed down um, almost unchanged in it is passed down by mothers for children and it allows for maternal uh, ancestry of uh, tracing. This is actually a very good example because the mitochondrial, uh, for example, like the mitochondrial Eve, which is like the most recent common ancestor of all humans. When combined, the analysis recorded revealed that support actually had, it actually had supported that the amyloid species are different from each other on a genetic level, especially the thorny lizard, and its basal knowledge was not really. Not as closely related as other uh, air forms, and this could explain why it's actually its sole genus species, the Moloch. It is the only one that has this genus. And in this uh, adaptation is not vestigial, as it's still being used to this day. Um, and it's like we see the results of the analysis of the combination of the UK genes and the mitochondrial DNA. For the most part, diagrams show that we can see that the molar cord is separated and not huge branched together, although it does appear to have a close relative. You can see this by um, this uh, mitochondrial DNA um, uh, a phenogenic tree where it really doesn't really have, it has an ancestor, but it's always really um, branches off early like, as, as not like the other species. and. Um, we want to look at the combined parts, and we can actually just has like a very little. We can see that it has a relative, um, this uh, thorny double, in that um relative, is actually um ties into my next topic, ladies and gentlemen. I present to you the Australian chameleon dragon. The Australian chameleon dragon, um, um, scientific name is Colossinia brunea. And we already have some genetic makeup evidence for this um, species being a divergent species of the thorny level by by seeing by we go back to the last uh, experiment we can see that um, we can see that uh, it is the most closely related creature um, to the thorny level in all of in most of the um, uh, bonitic, uh trees and this was done by my condo. Uh, DNA, so it can be traced by DNA. It has a DNA evidence. Uh, now, we're comparing the both species taxonomy. Uh, it does not differ much up until the actual genus, or which is the major difference. And the genus, of course, is the totally that was the monarch, as the chameleon dragon's genus is the Clausinia. There seems to be an atropic speciation occurring in both species. Species because it resides in a different part of Australia. It turned double and is most um, residing in the central part of Australia, and the Colombian dragon resides in the upper part of North uh, Australia. 
to me because Fano happened to be a very old ancestor. Uh, it's actually very hard to find any actual proof that we could have have caused a dispersion between the Agamemnon lizards. However, I strongly believe that there is a dispersal change that occurred because there is an obvious difference in habitat. Where the horny, where the thorny liver, where thorny liver, thorny lizard lives in the desert, the community dragon lives in the savanna forest in Australia. A member of either ancestral habitat could have traveled to different environments to look for food, or in this case of the community dragon, it could have had a lack of food, and it could have been having a hard time uh, attaining water. Um, unlike the Dory level that was able to adapt by having this intermediate skin that absorbs water much quicker and be able to go and look for food, the Kimberlian Dragon could have had a very rough time um, finding water as well as finding uh, food to eat. So that's why it could have moved to a, a northern part of the Australia to f that it could fit, fit its needs. Now our next part topic, plants. Plants, yes. Uh, plants. Uh, what I mean is, I feel that I can argue that the plants are the convergent species to the um, Tony Double. Okay, plants are like any other living creature in the world. Um, they need water to survive. The roots in the plants are always important because they transport the materials to the plant by the process of capillary action, um, like the like like we see like we see done with the Tony Double. Yeah, to be more in depth, the capillary action is the movement of liquids or any other substance. This is of the so on so surface solid, and it's just seen by throwing level, of course, by the use of short of scales to the scales or water to its scales. According to an article by Conrad Explosion and Transportation Pat Ways and Plants, it is stated that the um, the uptake of water and nutrients is a very a major function in the plant roots, and that can be done in different pathways. The article majority focused on the absorption of cadmium, it's like um. A metal that is kind of for plants, however, plants are able to uh, adapt to that. Fossils right here on this picture down here below show that it proven fact that mycorrhizal symbionts were diverse, simple, rhizoid based systems, and from those, um, the roots actually evolved to the more fashioned independent clades. Um, the roots eventually were able to combine with vascular um, integrated systems, and these were able to. Um, give large plants and they were able to um ha give them anchoring um qualities and absorption of water and nutrients hypotheses um hypotheses that i have for how the dictation could have gone through these things are for example genetic drift um i feel that for a year, there could have been like a huge flood or a huge event, like a heat wave in Australia, like back in the Cretaceous or during the Cretaceous or after the Cretaceous time period. And during that time, the large population was seen huge, were built, but was thriving. Their uh, ancestors during this time could have been living in different areas, and due to chance, lizards that were a cool place to survive while some other lizards didn't. Now, now they're, now they're being a smart population. And maybe the ones that did survive had this invitation that were useful for living in the desert. These allele frequencies could have changed, possibly uh, could explain why the thorny um, devils um, is the only one of the species. For natural selection, possibly there, there were possibly there were many in the desert shrubland. However, due to um, a lack of food and water, the closest ancestors could have split and to different parts of Australia. The industry remaining in the desert could have had like um could have had, um competed for the water the water and food and due to like the um, the thorny devils absorption and adaptations they were able to um outlive these other lizards and they could have been the um only genus that ended up with this adaptation. For not a rain mating when when these agam lizards um, find mates, they usually uh, compete um, for females, and this can be seen with the not the not only the, the devil, but also the um, chameleon dragons. The it's more um, most closest relative, and um, the way by fighting with females can be seen is that ma females choose the males that are more fit 
and this this is just um, explained by if the males are able to use it at their adaptation of um or of capillary action very well um they are able to be more healthy and they are able to um have a bigger advantage of other males that aren't so healthy and they're able to pass these genes off to the to the to their offsprings the females are be are going to be attracted to these males they are um or want to be or do want to mate with the males that um are more healthy for mutation of course the mutation um mutation could happen could let some offspring of the m gametae lizards have different scale uh, structure that of course overlap and you could have um used these um different mutation of the scales for the use during the desert of course they could have they could have adapted um their scales or their um different um structured um skin to absorb water however i feel that um however i feel that natural selection is the most um the one that makes more sense because um because um although there may be a different lizards in, in the central part of australia these are the um most closely related the most closely related uh cousins of it are not so closely related and even they are not so um close to each other and and this could have been very possible because um due to the adaptation it was able to survive longer than the other uh lizards which could have caused like of course we go back again to the only genus type um the thorn devils in the slide of course and last slide a last slide the adaptive uh evolution i feel like the thorn devil's capillary action by using string system adaptation could have been a could have been through uh, environmental variance. The torn devil's environmental pressure could cause the behaviors that the torn devil exhibits. For example, the thorns that the torn devil exhibits rely that I use on the back are for the defense's purposes. And the thorns uh, actually um, uh, allow the the thorn devil to be safe uh, while it eats um the its main food source ants and with the, the thorns it is a, safely able to go into places with dew and places where there's water to be able to absorb water for consumption. That's why I feel that the thorny doubles uh that the evolution could have been come by environmental variants. By of course the harsh environments of the desert. Any some presentations? And that is it. Um, thank you for consideration, and um, I just want to say that I'm actually very lucky that I found this uh, part of PowerPoint that was able to um, record my screen, and with plugging in my plug plugging in my headphones to have a speaker or a microphone, I am able to talk and talk all over the presentation, so I'm able to record it. Put that out there, but thank you. For Thank you for your gracious professor and um, have a good night or a good day or yeah.